colourful backgrounds in Affinity using gradients. Now, first thing to do, I'm just going to go over to the gradient tool and then I'm just going to go to a layer and new layer. So just create a new layer and then you see the linear gradient. That's the basic start point. What I want in this case is elliptical. So elliptical first and then just going to change that. So I'm just going to go up here, click on there and you bring up a display showing all the various stops. Now, that one I'm just going to change to another colour. So I'm just going to just make that orange or red and just double click on there, add another stop and blue <clears throat> and then a black. I'm just going to put black there because a nice sort of surround. And then just move that so it's a bit sharper. Just going to go to this final one. This is the edge. You can just see around here, you can see that background. What I'm going to do is change the opacity. So I'm actually just going to make it now transparent all the way around. And I'm actually just going to add another stop there. And just make that a bit more colourful. Okay, so I've got that design there. What you can do then, I'm just going to go back to the move tool and I'm just going to go over to layers and you can see it's a pixel layer. You can resize it at this point. So I just resize that down. We're a bit smaller than that. Now, hold the alt down and you can then duplicate it. So you can just create a very quick background just by moving those over and just drag that around there. I'm just filling the whole design like that. And once covered the entire surface. Okay, right. So what you can do then, you just go over to layers. So you can actually just select all those layers. They're all pixel layers. So just select all those and then go to a layer and merge selected. So it will become one and again, pixel layer over here. Once you've done that, you can then go to filters and you can just go to something like filter, distort and deform. Now, just click on the surface there, click there, just add some pins, add another pin there. And you can just drag that around to your heart's content. Just add more or obviously remove them depending on what you want. But you can basically just drag that and make it sort of like an oozy sort of very, very warped design. Drag that down that way. And of course, that's it. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.